Hey everyone, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be sharing my vegan story with you guys. I've actually been meaning to film this for a while, and I am finally getting around to it, but I think I've been delaying it because my story is kind of complicated and confusing, so please bear with me. I promise it's worth it in the end. So my story is a little different from most people's in the fact that I was actually raised vegan slash vegetarian. Both of my parents actually decided to go vegan together when they were dating, and I was raised as a vegan until I was around six or seven. At this point, my parents decided to raise me and my siblings as vegetarians instead of vegans for certain reasons, but I'm not really going to get into that because this video isn't about them, it's about me and my decisions. That being said, please refrain from making any comments about that. I love both my parents and I'm incredibly grateful for the way that I was raised, and I'm vegan now, so that's all that really matters. So essentially, I was raised vegetarian, but I wouldn't say that my diet was 100% healthy per se, as I still ate some junk food, a lot of sugary candy, and a lot of mock meats, but I still ate a large amount of fruits and vegetables as well, and I was not picky at all as a child. So growing up, my parents did talk to us a little about why our family didn't eat meat, but they never went into too much detail. I basically understood that we didn't eat animals because it was mean, and other than that, I didn't really have any ethical or really intellectual connections with the concept of vegetarianism. But all of my friends generally accepted that I was a vegetarian and they never really made any rude comments to me. And honestly, me being vegetarian just seemed kind of normal to me. I was around kids who would be eating meat, but I never really thought that I should be eating that meat. I just realized that other people ate meat and I didn't and that was fine. So I remained vegetarian from grade school into my first year of college. But then we enter the phase that I like to call the dark days. Honestly, I felt very tempted to just lie and leave this part out of my life, but it's the truth and unfortunately I have to share it with you all and I am not proud of it. But yeah, obviously I want to be transparent and maybe it will help some of you out. But seriously, I'm not happy about it. So my sophomore year of college, I started dating this guy and he basically had the worst diet ever. He ate a lot of meat and he ate a lot of processed foods, but somehow at the time I still thought he was attractive. But at this point in my life I didn't really have a lot of self-confidence and I wasn't really sure about myself and I was kind of trying to fit in with the crowd. So unfortunately I fell prey to the throes of consumerism and the meat industry and I started to eat meat. I also believe that incredibly stupid protein myth that vegans are constantly trying to defend. So I did eat meat for a few months, but I did it really, really sparingly and in really, really small portions because my body was just not used to it. And as you know, after you don't eat meat for a while, you literally vomit and get sick when you eat it again. Ugh, what was I thinking? And honestly, I felt absolutely horrible when I was doing this. I was super bloated, I just felt really sluggish and lethargic, and I also feel like deep down, even though I hadn't made an ethical connection with not eating animals yet, something just felt wrong when I was eating meat. Like I just, I just didn't like it at all. So after my boyfriend and I broke up and I realized that I was actually a person capable of making my own responsible decisions, I immediately reverted back to vegetarianism and felt a lot better. But yeah, looking back, I 100% regret this decision and wish that I could take it all back because now I'll never be one of those cool kids that has never eaten meat in their life. And also I contributed to animal suffering, so. Also, I know this totally doesn't justify the fact that I ate meat, but it may make you feel better to know that this ex-boyfriend cheated on me with multiple people, so I sort of accept that as my punishment for contributing to the meat and dairy industry. So then, two years ago, I decided to make an Instagram account in order to log my food because I was trying to encourage myself to eat healthier. Through searching through a lot of Instagram accounts, I came across a lot of popular food pages that all seemed to be vegan, and I found this really interesting. Because before this, even as a vegetarian, I thought that vegans were like weird hippies or something who smelled really bad and had BO and just like ate a lot of grass. But these accounts showed me that vegan food is actually beautiful and awesome and that you don't need animal products in order to have a delicious meal. So it, these accounts definitely piqued my interest and I decided to adopt a more plant-based diet at this point. So I was really interested in vegan recipes and vegan cooking, but at the same time, I still ate some dairy and eggs. I still didn't really understand how unhealthy these were for me and the cruel industries that are behind them. And also I just really liked them and I thought I would never be able to give them up. 
So at this point, my perception of veganism sort of changed, and I thought about going vegan at this point, but it was more for aesthetic purposes because I wanted to have like a pretty food account. But I never really fully committed to it because I was just like, well, I can still eat my eggs, but I just don't have to take pictures of it. But then one day I was scrolling through Instagram and I thought to myself, why the heck do I even want to go vegan if I literally know nothing about the vegan diet? So I decided to actually do my research and educate myself about veganism. I started with watching a few documentaries about that more health aspects like Vegucated and Forks Over Knives and you know I thought like, wow veganism is healthy, veganism is cool, but I still didn't really make the full connection. But then I decided to go fully into it and I watched Earthlings and I was absolutely devastated to find out about the cruelty of the meat, dairy and egg industries and the tortures that animals have to go through in order for humans to eat and use them. And if you haven't watched Earthlings, you definitely need to get on that. I'll leave a link to it in the down bar. But once I saw innocent animals actually being tortured, something finally clicked inside of me and I realized that veganism isn't just a diet, it's a lifestyle and it's completely 100% against any animal suffering. I was absolutely heartbroken after I finished watching the movie, but I was still a little wary because I thought I would never be able to give up my prized dairy and eggs. However, I decided that it was definitely something I should attempt to do, so I told myself I was going to go vegan for a week to see how easy it was and how I felt. However, it wasn't hard at all. I immediately felt so much more vibrant and energized now that I wasn't eating any animal products at all, and I found that I was so passionate and inspired by the vegan movement and I just wanted to go out and spread the message with everyone and show other people how awesome this lifestyle is. It just feels really good to be able to take a stand for something that you fully support. And I actually decided to go vegan on my birthday this past year and I have been vegan ever since. And I can honestly say that I am 100% happy with my decision to go vegan and my only regret is that I didn't go vegan sooner and look more into the research. And I never have cravings for animal products and I never have a desire to eat an animal product ever again. Ever. And yeah, that's basically my story. I feel like it's sort of complicated because I was flip-flopping for a while all throughout my life. But the most important part is that I am fully vegan now and I fully support the movement. I hope that my story can inspire you all to realize that wherever you are in your life and whatever path you're on, you can definitely still go vegan, even if it's just through small changes in the beginning. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learning a little more about me and I will see you later. Bye.